Hello there folks, Ferenji on board here, this time with a video idea that came and, you know, popped up into my mind. Um, it's been something that I kind of was like avoiding, I mean not specifically avoiding, but it's not something that I would necessarily speak about, but I think it's time we did have a little talk about this. So, the point about today is, um, well actually there's two points. First of all, my video game is now officially one year old. Now, specifically on the 13th of March last year, I have started my first baby steps towards my video game. And now I can actually say that officially it is one year of age. Congratulations to me, I'd say. Now, the aspect of today's video is um, not necessarily cam life, as I wanted to initially call it. It's more about... Uh, the significance and some of the deeper aspects that lie behind such an existence and I was interested in dropping something about Project Melody as well for some reason because I felt that she made a great sensation and well to speak you the simple truth I don't have any crush on her I kind of don't like pixels in a way like I don't fall for pixels although yes video game avatars can actually be quite tempting at times, but, you know, I, I'm not that bent towards such ideas. The prospect of today, the, I mean, the theme of today would be more like, hmm, let's see what would it actually be to be, you know, uh, a web person, basically someone who exposes themselves and does different things. This has been going on for a very, very long time, and we know that there are a lot of women who do this, and most likely they do a lot of awkward stuff, and they kind of put uh, womanhood, you know, on a bad spot. Now, the point is, other people are usually, and mostly, they are pissed because, you know, such people can actually get to earn quite a lot of coin in a very short time, and it kind of becomes, you know, like, it kind of gets to piss you off. I mean, not in my case, but I actually heard there were movements on the internet with people saying that, hey, you know what, these actually have to stop. These people create a lot of money, by the, but don't actually pay their taxes to the state. This is something that, in a way, I'm kind of, like, awkward. It's like, I don't understand why for everything that you create, you actually have to pay the state something it's like it's my money i worked for it and you as a state what the fuck are you doing for me so that i actually get to pay you okay through taxes like in my country we already have huge taxes and the state ain't doing shit for us so the point is like why should i actually be paying you from everything that i gain but the way things go it's like okay it can actually be quite annoying to hear that Certain people can get even to 2,000, 3,000, probably even more dollars per hour, per day, um, which is quite a lot if you think about it. And most of these camp people usually do nothing else but pornography. Now, I don't remember it's... I haven't done too many videos, yes, but I don't remember if I actually touched the aspect of pornography. And, well, I'm not gonna go too much into that because... The purpose of my channel will be to remain mainly around uh, spirituality, but I actually heard a few of, you know, I actually saw one of Project Melody's, you know, interviews. A guy made an interview with her and, you know, took her an interview and, you know, my opinion about that, and I can say I've got quite experience in reading most people, it's... It was almost so painful, it almost hurt. Like, um, you know, just because people laugh, it doesn't mean they're actually happy. And she kind of seemed displeased of his presence for some reason. And the way she just pops up with so many things, like, instantly and directly, that's... Wait, that's exactly the way I function. I mean, I don't have that much of a shame speaking about things and speaking about sexuality and speaking about all sorts of stuff and you know fetishes and the such because that's basically what I'm gonna do in my channel I'm gonna present things that people feel kind of way too shy about that and I'm gonna show people that I mean what's the actual point it's just a lie that you're making up in your mind what's the fact I mean what's the point uh, 
in feeling ashamed of your own sexuality or speaking about that even it's like okay um, so people might find out that you're actually talking about that so so they will what okay they will probably they will probably uh, start talking about you laughing about you. it's like okay so what so I in the industry okay the greatest people you know the stage performers okay the people who speak in front of thousands of people yeah um, they there is this mentality okay which is kind of similar to the American way of advertising okay and well nowadays it's no longer just the uh, American way okay but it, it kind of developed in there so it's something it goes something like love me or hate me but don't ignore me okay just that's one of the principles that also goes with you know cam recording people like love me hate me you know you still give me your attention because nowadays attention is the newest and greatest currency those people become so good and some of them actually become uh, you know so natural in that that the money is just simply almost inexistent to them the moment someone becomes so good at something and it turns that into you know like uh, a life way you know a lifestyle it's like they don't even care that much about the money because once you do something naturally that's why you actually become better and better at that because you're doing it naturally you're somewhat enjoying it now I can tell you that most or many of the camp people don't necessarily enjoy that but you know they have to do that because in their minds they have built this prison that tells them hey you know there's no other way and in the way it's like okay Okay, so the question is this: um, Would you actually work in a shit ass job for like I don't know three or four figures, or would you do something theoretically like this, or even practically? Because the question is very very simple. Um, all you have to do is just speak a bit dirty. You don't necessarily have to, you know, undress yourself. But you know, there's also that question that says, hmm. Well, but in my case, I'm a guy, so, you know, I'm naturally not the right gender for that. Well, that's a limitation most people actually come up with. So, I was thinking that, hmm, well, you see, most of these people who get behind cameras, okay, and show themselves and speak dirty and present all kind of thoughts, you know, there is actually a lot of pain that exists behind that, okay? Now, I'm not gonna point them as, you know, something as much as histrionic disorder okay which means an excessive need for attention and no it doesn't have too much link with narcissism um, so usually most of these people have been abused when they were young and they kind of need attention okay and as I said attention is the newest currency and it is much more important than money because where your attention goes your energy also flows now, in a way, these people are kind of energy vampires. The point is, they are leeching energy for their own demons. I had a quote that said, hey, you know what, people actually have demons to feed. Now, let's get a bit into this, because I just don't want to demonize these people, okay? I will always remain a neutral person, so I will not be judgmental. So, instead of demons, because there's a lot of parasite types in this world and demons are only just one there are a lot of parasites that exist within people and you know our life can actually be um, you know interpreted just as the chakras go for example when you are born you actually come out from your mother's womb okay and you are actually brought into this world almost um, through your mother's root chakra okay that's how you pass the gate into real life existence okay that's when you enter this world and you have passed your first gate the gate of the muladhara now the first chakra is the chakra of the root and it's usually the chakra that children will vibrate at in terms of physicality because their consciousness can actually vibrate at a very high frequency and yes but Physically speaking, you are going to vibrate at the vibration of the emotions you are putting out. 
and Muladhara is blocked by fear and it also presents the idea of rootedness and when we are young we know that we are the most vulnerable ones so the point is that exactly then can happen the most things that can fuck us up as human beings because that is when up till seven years of age or eight the brain of any person of any human being functions at a vibration that has well you know it doesn't have any defenses okay so in this state you will automatically gain anything and everything from all the people around and including your empathy because there is a great misunderstanding with empathy and people say that um, you know, narcissistic people, sociopaths, psychopaths actually don't have empathy. Um, well, they are quite wrong in here. I mean, that's what I perceive. That's what I feel. They also have um, they also have emotional empathy in a way. And yes, even narcissists have emotional empathy. It's just that they are not aware of that. But believe me, they actually have a big empathy towards that because they are highly attracted to pain and misery. So. The moment they feel that you are even the slightest miserable, they don't need to actually see your face because they're going to perceive your auric field like in a moment. They are very sensitive to, you know, lower emotions. So the point is, they actually have a very advanced or can have a very advanced emotional empathy. It's just that they're not entirely aware of that. Again, this is a personal truth, so don't hurry in taking it, you know, for granted. Just try to take things yourself and see how you vibrate with those. Now, do not stray from the subject. The point is that once you are at a very young age, well, at a certain age, usually 11, 13 for girls and 12, 13, 14 for guys, the second age begins and it begins naturally as usual because it is the age of puberty. That is when Theoretically, you should be moving into the second chakra, which is the chakra of life. Now, there are debates over which of the chakras, you know, guides uh, sexuality. And I feel that in a way, these two actually do. Because even if the root chakra also governs your uh, sexual organs, your sexual energy resides around the second chakra. And that is also life energy. That is why people who masturbate a lot will feel very miserable and also will most likely feel very low on energy because by releasing, you're actually releasing life force. You're releasing life energy, which, you know, kind of goes to waste because you're just going to feed those parasitic entities that are around you. The, mom the reason why you're suddenly feeling horny is that you're suddenly being called by some of those entities it's like hey give me some of that juice okay give me some of that lovely energy of yours because i'm dependent upon it and you're actually you know the perfect slave to give it to me that's how some of these entities work well actually most of them work like that they don't enter your body necessarily they just stay somewhere around uh in the auric field and they use uh, they kind of have tentacles or whatever extended part of them and you know from time to time they will push that towards you and they will trigger a certain part so that is how one can get like instantly horny or uh, I don't know they can get instantly dominant over others because it depends many people have multiple types of parasites and they will manifest depending on the vibration at which they have certain problems okay so in in childhood there is a lot of abuse many people don't know how to raise children and you know the reason why most people actually have children is because they are feeling miserable and they need someone to actually dump their misery on and that's usually children because they are defenseless and when you are at these ages usually it's when you get the most fucked up and if these two chakras don't develop well, well, by the time you are going to be 18 or 19, you're going to go to the Manipura, which is the third chakra, the, uh, the chakra of personal power. But the point is, most likely you're already going to be like fucked up by, you know, uh, 
all sorts of bad ideas about sexuality probably you're gonna feel ashamed about your own sexuality you're gonna feel bad about it about wanting it you know like there's so many of these people around me and for some reason it kind of doesn't work on me because why should I be why should I be you know miserable about my own sexuality or about wanting it I mean we're living beings all living beings want it all living beings want sexuality and you know they want they have a uh, craving need for nurturing that is why unfortunately the histrionic disorder can actually kick in because so many children are abused by their families and like every every living being they desire attention they want attention they want care and love because that's basically the one thing that all entities want even people who you know appear before the camera they need attention they want love they actually secretly want to be cared for and in a way there's actually a pact that they're doing because what they are looking for is not necessarily the attention of a thousand or a million guys who will wank to them it's or even women it's looking for that special someone and you know if you go to a job it's gonna be pathetic it's gonna be nasty you're gonna have very negative people and you know you're gonna be paid like shit usually and you're not gonna meet a lot of people on the internet you have a lot of chance to meet with people and you know you can actually speak like literally everything because they don't know who you are and the question is even if they know who I am is like okay so what's the point okay like I don't mind telling things about myself to other people it's like everywhere I went sooner or later I would tell people that hey you know what I'm still a virgin and I'm almost 30 and I don't take this as something shameful okay I chose in a way this but it was more like spiritual guidance as well as as a guy in my case I was probably one of the luckier ones because usually girls would come to me sooner or later and no don't get the idea that I was besieged by them or I'm some kind of Elvis Presley that was you know surrounded by a throng of females usually I drew the attention of one at the time and you know I was kind of migratory in school and the such and you know there was usually that one girl who would have some sympathy towards me but you know it was some kind of sympathy because uh, you know usually people had a kind of a sympathy towards me be but the point was they were also distant because I've been distant for a great period of my life uh, probably I'll speak about this in another video so why not but the point is that I really don't find women hard to understand and I also have this sense that can kind of literally tell me what lies behind a person and looking for example at Project Melody I kind of felt a lot of misery within her now I'm not calling her a miserable person I'm just saying that there's actually a lot of suffering behind that you know bunch of pixels which is usually her avatar okay many people nowadays have discovered the idea of you know virtual reality and it is actually a very important thing in terms of spirituality we are entering the age of Aquarius which is the age of the truth but in order to discover the truth people actually still have to give up all sorts of their negativities like uh, self-distrust these people call to virtual reality because they are too ashamed of themselves and most importantly they are too insecure to speak with real life people uh, real life problems the point is those people in VR are still real life people okay it is a virtual reality but let's not forget it is only an extension of this world and it's still reality okay it's called reality for a reason it is virtual yes but you're still speaking with humans okay in a way you're not crazy you're not speaking with bots okay so you're still speaking with real life humans and you're speaking some of your problems and actually they are speaking some of their own problems and it's actually a good thing people are actually plucking up the courage to speak about themselves and you know humans other people may not know who you are in reality but at least they hear your voice and believe me there are software that can actually be used to identify you by your voice but why be panicked about that it's like why be panicked about who and what you are yes life and society kind of fuck us up and we're kind of screwed over by our parents just as they were 
by their own parents and you know the vicious cycle goes back probably thousands of generations before us but it's how things are now the point is with web people and kind of what I wanted to say and kind of wrap this video up is well these people actually have a spiritual purpose okay they are in a way uh, initiators in a kind of movement that will help humanity to uh, discover themselves okay I would be interested in doing this but speaking about you know things like that I actually don't mind but I don't want to attract the wrong type of people I'm not interested in attracting a throng of uh, you know over sexualized people because what you feed yourself with is actually what you will get so the point is if you want to make yourself appear as you know everyone's favorite waifu well okay but don't forget that there is a thing called the pendulum effect and if you don't use it well you're kind of get yourself a bit fucked now the point is the pendulum effect means that uh, let's take for example project melody or whatever stream guy or girl you want to take into account There is this point that you know every time there is an idea and especially if it gets focused on by a lot of people that idea will become like a little black hole it will store around it and within it all the ideas that people are sending with their thoughts because the moment you are thinking at something you are literally like a computer connecting to that uh, website let's call it okay so when you do that you also connect yourself to the collective ideas of all other people and these ideas are present time ideas or even past and especially past time ideas ideas that other people thought about so if you're suddenly thinking about your favorite streamer and you're suddenly getting some awkward ideas most likely those ide ideas are not yours one thing that people don't know is that you are not your thoughts most of your thoughts don't even belong to you and we are all more empathic that than we would actually want to believe because it's usually we don't believe that we can be empathic because we are surrounded by some kind of monstrous people and you know we believe that theoretically we are the monsters but in the end those people who are miserable around us they are just walking lessons the lesson that they speak is, hey, if you want to be miserable like me, just do what I'm doing. And guess what? Most likely they're not doing anything. So, hey, free misery for you if you want it. Okay, just be like me. I mean, that's what, you know, that's what I actually see and read from miserable people. Now, these people who present themselves in front of cameras and do all sort of uh, things <coughs> and behave in a way more or less, I would actually tend, if I were to tend towards um, camera people, I would tend towards those who feel natural, who don't do things just for the sake of getting money and getting attention, you know, like <coughs> the attention-seeking folks, because there's n not only women that crave attention on the internet, let's face it, and as I said, I will always remain neutral, I will never join any, any possible side, so the point is that... Um, these people actually have a purpose okay many of these people actually have the purpose of becoming you know what I call sexual black holes they will feed themselves with all sorts of such thoughts from other people because in the end they kind of end up as being you know other people's favorite waifus and the such like I literally tried the idea of a waifu and I was like uh, I failed horribly at that I mean for some reason I just can't you know I just can't believe that a bunch of pixels or I don't know a piece of paper or wherever I would draw my so-called wife who actually you know exists like you know I just can't do that okay it's like I'm probably too realistic too rooted in real life you know I just can't lie myself that you know I'm speaking to a bunch of pixels okay like if I want to speak I, I usually speak to myself and I kind of do a lot of that and well I've got at least 15 years of deep introspection so I usually don't find it hard to understand certain things and again I prefer reminding people that these are my points these are things that I personally have felt so just take them with a grain of salt now these people will serve a great purpose because they are initiators 
they are telling people hey you know what you can actually do that but for the moment there are very few who actually do it in the right way to tell people that hey you know there is no shame in taking yourself a camera and actually appearing in front of I don't know how many people will be interested in you because the point is many people many of these camp folks are still not so genuine and when you're not genuine guess what you will attract that kind of people when you are genuine you will attract people who want genuinity and most likely that was one of the things that led to project melody's success and i'm sure she's not the only person because people are not necessarily interested in the fact that um you know she's speaking so openly about all sorts of things because that's theoretically how i also am it's like i can speak without any curtain about all sorts of things probably i will put some limitations because i'm interested in what i'm feeding my mind with and also i'm interested in you know controlling the type of energies that i draw because if you impress certain people that's not necessarily a good thing and it can also be not a bad thing because when you impress people they will still be thinking about you at least for a while and well if you keep nurturing that relationship they will keep thinking about you because a relationship doesn't mean uh, you know a boyfriend and a girlfriend or you know two people living together there are more types of relationships but unfortunately people perceive relationship only as some kind of sexual stuff and well that's it i mean dude that's not all i mean a relationship can be a business venture a relationship can be i don't know in between two colleagues at school doing a project and that's all i know yes i know it's kind of a typical opening for porn movies that okay let's go home and you know study together yeah sure and it's like five minutes they're you know ruining the house with a fucking earthquake right so um probably i should speak more openly about some of these ideas like i think i would actually throw a video on pornography but more like you know some spiritual aspects because i can do whatever of these camp folks actually do but as i said my reason for not doing that still is that i'm interested in what kind of energy i'm getting back because that energy will actually influence me more or less when streamers get a lot of viewers that actually has a great impact on them and probably you've seen those uh, youtubers who suddenly fell into disgrace because they had one million probably even two or three million subscribers and then they had that hate speech video that drew so much hatred to them they literally got bombarded with that and their vibration suddenly dropped and you know they got into a hatred frenzy and whatever they did was kind of negative so they drew more and more negativity so they ended up in a death spiral that led to their demise as a streamer this is something very very real this is something that can happen with like almost anyone if you don't pay great attention to what energy you're inviting in now i want to wrap up this video uh what i wanted to say in short is that these camp people actually serve a purpose more or less some of them are probably uh better at this now their purpose is to present the fact that there is no shame in actually speaking openly about literally everything if people laugh at you it's just a lesson in life just look at them and see the misery in their eyes ask yourself one thing when was it the actual last time that they you know like literally laughed okay when was it the last time that they actually laughed okay so now they are laughing at you but you know i've become better and better at this and it's like okay so they're theoretically laughing they're just throwing some negativity out so through the fact that i'm making them laugh and you know they're laughing at me is because well they're laughing at me because i'm the so-called source i triggered a burst of negativity removal now the point is that that negativity is thrown at me so you also have to be ready for that but you know i kind of am ready for that because i've done reiki and other such similar courses and i have also enough protection from the universe that is something i can always count on so the point is even if you have people laugh at you you're still doing them a great service because think about their misery when was it really the last time they actually laughed and if you actually look and you take a deep close look at many of the streamers online be it that they're doing porn or whatever else when they laugh just just take a great look at those is that a genuine laugh 
or is it the love of a person who's been abandoned in their life and you know they want to do something in their life okay many streamers actually subconsciously have this idea going on they want to do something they want the world to remember them because in their life they haven't been given the love that they actually needed and actually yes in the case of many the traumas can actually go very very deep and well I can actually understand some of people's traumas if I, even if I well especially if I talk a lot with them because I can have a lot of input from what a person is speaking and well if they are genuine I can actually understand a lot of things if they are doing a lot of voice tricks well that can actually trick me and I might actually get some false information but usually the information that I get it's kind of not uh, false it cannot be false because I'm feeling what they are sending me and you know it's one way to do a call and you don't show yourself with someone so you do a call with them and you change your voice you know you act in a specific way so that you give them a certain idea but y you cannot hide your vibration that is something that you know it takes a real lot of occultism or something like that to do okay so I can still feel something related to them and if it's hatred or misery well I usually feel that from a very far distance now I'm gonna wrap this video up in here just remember everything has a purpose in its life don't take things for what they apparently are everyone is going to be each of these folks is actually a little black hole who is uh, you know draining people not necessarily only of their attention but you know they're pulling out some of their hidden aspects that humanity has run away for so so long and now suddenly these people have the power to actually aid humanity in cleansing itself of these limitations that we have been building around ourselves that you know sexuality is something bad you know and you know speaking kinkily is something bad because you know especially in the European part and probably in the Americas you have this Christianity thing that you're born a sinner and you know whatever you're doing there's this white bearded fuck up there that doesn't have anything else to do except then you know like uh, just monitor you and then you'll be gravely punished when you go into heaven and it's like well one day I was like mm, but why should I actually try being an angel it's like first of all I'm born a sinner and you can't live this life without committing at least a few little sins so theoretically I'm and practically I'm gonna burn in hell according to Christianity no matter what I do so why actually delay that why actually make this thing even you know more painful it's like okay I'm gonna burn in hell for whatever I do so why actually even bother trying to be a Christian myself okay why even bother being you know a little angel when I'll be burning in hell sooner or later probably not in this life but probably in the afterlife in the next life actually I'll probably end up in hell anyway so you know I will speak about this idea uh, I think I will speak more on this um, what can I say life is awesome take care about yourselves don't let yourself distracted by appearances because appearances are many and you know most of them aren't necessarily real take care of yourselves take care of your energy Ferenjan board signing out